Elton John defended Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's use of private jets yesterday, claiming he feels a profound sense of obligation to protect them due to the special relationship he enjoyed with Diana, but a newly resurfaced report reveals the Princess of Wales and the singer had their fair share of arguments over the years. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been heavily criticized this week after it emerged they took four private jet journeys in 11 days. The couple, who have regularly spoken out on environmental issues, were photographed traveling with their three-month-old son Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor twice, visiting first Ibiza and then Nice. In a message posted on Twitter, Sir Elton defended their use of private jets and claimed he paid to carbon offset their trip to his French home, where the couple stayed. He said, I am deeply distressed by today's distorted and malicious account in the press surrounding the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's private stay at my home in Nice last week. Prince Harry's mother, Diana Princess of Wales was one of my dearest friends. I feel a profound sense of obligation to protect Harry and his family from the unnecessary press intrusion that contributed to Diana's untimely death. After a hectic year continuing their hard work and dedication to charity, David and I wanted the young family to have a private holiday inside the safety and tranquility of our home. To maintain a high level of much needed protection, we provided them with a private jet flight. It does not come as a surprise that the musician defended the Sussexes so passionately, as he was indeed very close to Princess Diana. However, over the years, the two also had their fair share of disagreements. In a 2003 report by the Daily Mirror, Sir Elton revealed how he fell out with Diana when she snubbed an event for his AIDS charity. The singer told the publication, I was upset when Diana pulled out of the launch party at the last moment and I was concerned at the effect it would have on the credibility of the Elton John AIDS Foundation. It was because of this that I wrote to her about how she had left the charity down. She reportedly sent off a terse letter in reply. Sir Elton added, it was after this she wrote that strange letter addressed to Mr. John. According to Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell, Diana pulled out of the event for Sir Elton's book about their friend Johnny Versace because she had been upset that photos of her, William and Harry appeared alongside ones of naked men. Diana had agreed for her photo to appear in the £60 book Rock and Royalty but she reportedly withdrew permission after reporters told her there were pictures of nude men in it too. The princess is said to have demanded that 30,000 copies already printed be dumped. However, Sir Elton John's people reportedly told her it was too late. The Daily Mirror report says, Diana's office rang him a week before the launch party in West London to say she wouldn't be there. Elton, who had a close relationship with the princess, said he was disappointed that she didn't ring him herself to explain and sort out the problem. He was bewildered and though her behavior was strange. Sir Elton commented on the row on US chat show Larry King in 2003, saying, it's one of those things that friends sometimes do. You know, they are too proud to pick up the phone. That's how the whole row started and I was relieved when we made it up just before Gianni's death. Diana was photographed holding Elton's hand and comforting him as he fought back his tears at Mr. Versace's funeral. The designer was shot dead in 1997 outside his home in Miami, a month before Diana died in car accident in Paris.